Yo, the boy Way is here. Let's go, Crew yeah. Show, Real 92.3. Way, what's up with you, boy? What's up? How you doing? Yes, Thank sir. Nah, thanks for being here. We appreciate it, man. I'm all the way at the end. It's all good. Okay. <laughs> Jackie, you. do you want to move? Do you want to sit over no, here? It's okay. I'm <laughs> Yo, man, uh, we appreciate the time, man. Congratulations on everything. Thank you. Thank it's you. It's crazy, right? Yeah, it's been. It's this been, game is nuts, man. It's been a ride, yeah. It's been a ride, man. Talk about that ride and the evolution from Titanium to the boy Way today. Okay, so Titanium, 23 years ago, we um, kind of responsible for bringing hip hop to Thailand. Crazy. Um, that that. American hip hop sound to right. Thailand, mixing it with Thai and English over boom bap, hard hitting beats. Mm -hmm. And then to what it is today, 23 years later, we just had Rolling Loud for the first time in April, this past April. Bro, that must so, have been nuts. Rolling Loud Thailand? Yeah, Rolling Loud Thailand. Yeah, bro. The, the lineup was crazy. Like Chris Brown, Nick, uh, Cardi B. Rick Ross, ASAP Ferg, Travis Scott, we got so everybody, 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 yeah. everybody, everybody but the crew show. But yo, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> next time, like next, it was time, popping come next through, time, come through. There, there's a little history we're rolling loud, but we can talk about that off camera. Oh, okay. uh, but it's love, but it's love. But yo, so when you're on that stage, right, and you know that you're responsible and you're part of the 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 ingredients that made it happen, right? What's that moment like for you? It's like a proud moment, man. It's like we we saw it from the beginning. We're just a handful of kids before the internet right. that was interested in hip hop in Thailand at that time, 23 years ago, and to see what it is now, to have the world, you know, finally hear about Thailand and the hip hop scene yes, in sir. Thailand is such a such a proud moment. Is there a petty moment in your heart or in your brain that says, <laughs> I fucking told you so? Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, you know, that's that's why we continue to keep doing it. That's right. Every day. That's right. Of course, there is a little bit. But Shitting you know, on them all day <laughs> when they said you couldn't. Yes. And you wouldn't. But we did it. Let's go. Too right. easy. What's is up? It, is it hard for you, you know, you know, when you first brought that sound to Thailand, was there type of was there kind of like a mm, we're not kind of sure and you just kept to kept go, going? Was there racism? Uh, there there was, you know, cuz a lot of people didn't understand it. Right. A lot of people were like, "Why are you bringing this culture into into Thailand speaking so freely or speaking about mm -hmm. issues that people at that time weren't really speaking right. about or voicing about?" Yeah, so there was there was definitely a lot of, you know, you know side eye and a lot of a lot of hate but then there was also a lot of love you know so right. that's what kept uh, the motivation going you know because every time that we would drop a project we would see that the crowds would get a little bigger mm -hmm. and and at first we were you know we we were just like talking out rah rah shit oh sorry rah rah mm -hmm. and then um you could talk that shit dog you talk that shit yeah 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 rah rah and then um <laughs> talking talking shit in the beginning but then when we found out that we had listeners and mm -hmm. and, and you know that, that that people were really listening then we started putting messages into the music and, and, yeah. and you know really being like a voice for the new generation at that time when you were coming up what's the smallest group of people you performed in front of I think I might have probably did 10. Yeah. It was probably 10. It's a very um, humbling experience, right? Yeah. <laughs> but I think our first show, our first show, our very first show was in Chicago as Titanium. And there was probably like about 800 people. Shout out to Chicago. That was our very first show yeah. as Titanium. But then the second time we went there, there was only about like 20 people. Oh, okay. So it was a huge difference the yeah, second right, time we went right. around. So it was a very like, damn. Like what happened, yeah, right? What happened? Like, are we falling off? <laughs> Already? <laughs> what do you think <laughs> happened? I think the promotion. It was just promotion. Yeah, That's promotion. right. Janky you know. promoters, bro. Yeah. You know how that goes. You know. But yeah. you know, we um Titanium and myself, we've been through so many different types of shows from yes, arenas sir. to stadiums to ten people. To, to clubs, to, theaters, yeah. To performing, you know, to our friends at, at, in the backyard. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yes, sir. So you so you grew up in America and Thailand, going back and forth or you So I was born and raised in okay. New York, New Jersey. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so about sixteen. Okay. And then uh, I got sent back to Thailand for about two years. That was my first trip. Mm -hmm. Got introduced into like the scene there. By sent back, like were you I in was trouble? Gonna say, like, dog, school? Like, what happened, dog? Back? You got arrested? Like, I got arrested. I got. It happens. Okay. Um, I got arrested. I ran away. You familiar? From, uh, <laughs> from from the family that I, I was staying with at the time. My parents were in Thailand at the time, so okay. then they sent me back to go be with my parents. And then um, yeah, I I was. Um, I was adventuring around Bangkok and, and yeah. And so in a way, you're like, well, fuck it, I'm going home. It's all love. My parents are there. The food I love is there. Yeah, I mean, I, I you know, when I first went there, everybody looked at me like I was an alien because really? I was. Of course, I understood Thai. I couldn't speak it. 
Got mm-hmm. it. So I would answer in English to my parents, but so I was kind of like, I couldn't, I can understand what you're saying. So if somebody's mm. talking shit, I could definitely understand. <laughs> right, but right, I right. Be like, ah, I'd be like, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so he was a Nosabo kid. Yeah, yeah. No, I, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so how long did it take you for, uh, for the, did it take for you to speak Thai again fluently? Um, I think when I married my wife, because my wife is full Thai. Okay. And then so having having a wife that speaks full Thai, then I I, I pick up the Thai. Yeah. So um, now you can tell her to talk shit to people. <laughs> <laughs> are Thai women toxic? Because Latina women are toxic. <laughs> is it like I just want to know? Like, are women toxic all around you? Or I, like, I think. I is think it just all around thing? the world? I think. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I bro. think. Yeah. I think all women. Not all women. I think. Easy. Some, I, no, Easy. No, 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 no. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. No, wait, wait, wait. Cut it out. Wait, wait. Nah. I think all women and all men are toxic. Some po- are all toxic. In <laughs> right, their, in right. Their own way. But some more than others. <laughs> yeah, some more than others. You so. feel me? I yeah. think uh, Thai- Thailand women get, could, could be toxic, yeah. uh, just like Mexican women or Latino um, women, right? It's the same, same, but different. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> man. You get yelled at, you know what I mean, yeah, for liking yeah. a thirst trap. It happens. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All too familiar. What's up, Jack? You know, you've collabed with a lot of greats like Snoop. You opened up for Jay Z. Like, Crazy. what does that moment do for you in those times? Like, where you said, like, sometimes one day you're opening or you're performing in front of 800 people, and next year it's 20, but then the next day you're opening for Jay Z. Uh-huh. I mean, well, Uncle Snoop, he was just like floating. He, he was just like, it was like, God, literally, like yeah. he was just floating. <laughs> it was like, it was surreal. And, you know, to, to be able to, um, be in the process of him when he was recording the verse mm-hmm. and and just fuck it just being able to smoke with him was just dope <laughs> you know so it, it, was, it was cool and then you know um with jay-z opening up for jay-z and rihanna at that time hip-hop wasn't wasn't too big in thailand it was probably around like 2004 if i remember correctly and i was like i was so hyped because you know jay-z is from new york and we're like yo we get to like, Get, but it was watching him in Bangkok kind of took it away a little bit. We were excited that Jay Z was finally in Bangkok, but yeah. it was like if he was back in New, in New York, York, it'd be different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it'd be yeah. different. The energy would yeah, be crazy. The energy would be crazy. So, but it was a learning experience for the crowd, and you know, the people that were there, they enjoyed it and still remember it. Were you standing day. there like, "Yo, this is Jay Z"? Yeah, Are y'all was crazy? A, we were going nuts. <laughs> we were going nuts. <laughs> is weed legal in Thailand? Right now, it is. Yes. Right now, it for is. Yes. That's right. Sad. Rolling loud. That's right. Rolling, rolling loud. loud. That's right. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> so, yeah, we um, they got that been, fire out there. They got that fire. It's been a year since since uh, it became legal. And really? Thank you. <laughs> Is the cannabis uh, business <laughs> booming out there right now? Oh, it's, it's there's everywhere. dispensaries everywhere. And everywhere. All that? It's 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 more than here in a way. It's just really? like it, it's once lent, once they they said we're legal. It was like everybody took off the curtain and it just became a dispensary <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> and I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I it's thought this too was much a, weed right now. Right. Like, yeah, I thought this was weed. a tire shop. All yeah. of a sudden, it's a dispensary. Yeah. <laughs> Is there trap shops as well? <laughs> yeah. What do, you, what do you, how do you say the trap in, in Thai? The trap. They call it the trap. The trap? Yeah, the trap, the trap. There's, there's many things called the trap in Thailand. That's right, that's right. So are you constantly working? Are you always in the studio? I'm always working. I'm always creating. Yeah. I'm always um, either helping or trying to do something. I'm, I, I can't stay still, man. Mm-hmm. So I, I'm, I'm into production. I like acting. I love making music. I love helping other artists. I love writing. I love producing. So I'm always in the studio. We got to connect you with Armin. It's the Armenian homie out here. Okay. Yeah, I think that'd be crazy. That'd be what's up. Yeah, I think that'd be dope, man. On some different country kind of vibes yeah, and stuff? Bro. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Do you, do you like, revisiting the your parents were in Thailand when you were in America, like, did that do something to you? Like, did it, like, put a chip on your shoulder to, like, want to, like, prove yourself even more or... I mean, um, that my parents were in. Because you said they were they were back in Thailand. Yeah, they they were only there for like a certain amount of time. They, oh, they weren't. Yeah, they not weren't my separated. Home. We I was separated for at that time. Okay, mm-hmm. and that's why I ran away and, and all that. But I wasn't with them. It was probably for like a little less than a year. Okay, they sent me to like Jacksonville. To Jacksonville <laughs> to, to live. <laughs> Florida what the yeah, hell? for like four months, and then that that wasn't happening. So um, it was either go to Thailand or go back to New York without my parents, which wasn't happening either. So they was like, okay, send them to Thailand. But it wasn't a shit. They, they've been supportive of, of, of That's my dope. career and, and, and what I want to do. And they've seen it from an early age. For sure. Do you feel embraced by hip-hop and hip-hop fans yeah. in the States? I do. Yeah, I mean, man. Like once, once somebody gets to know me or listens to the music, mm-hmm. you know, I've never seen like, 
yo, you fucking suck. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, oh that shit's hard. I don't, <laughs> right. might not understand it, but yo, that y'all yo, yo, riding it. Mm-hmm. Or, or yeah, it's it goes. Yeah, man. You were on the uh, Asian remix for All the Way Up. Fat Joe is that guy, right? Yeah, yeah. He's that guy, yeah, man. Yeah, we love him around Fat here. Joe, man. Yeah, man. He's uh he he embraces people. He yeah. he helps people, and he really like legend. you know. Yeah, he's a legend, yeah, right? So At the end of the day, do, you know? for sure, man. Who do you want to work with? Um, really, that you haven't worked with. I want to work with anybody that want to work with me. Really, that's right. You know, like um, um, I like for it to be organic, and because I don't want to force music. Mm-hmm. You know, um, I've been doing that most of my career, and, yeah. and just making music. I, I like to have fun with it, and and don't. Even, don't take it too serious. For yeah. sure. What have you turned down in Thailand to endorse? Have they ever came at you with something crazy? You're like, yo, I'm not endorsing that. Uh, I can't do that commercial. There, there, there's a lot. Like with me, like Viagra I'm like, or some uh, shit like that. You feel I'm me? like the worst in the group because I'm, I'll be like, nah, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. <laughs> like, oh, come on, man. Oh, you're the lecher of the group. <laughs> That's what's up. That's what's up. I'm like, nah, I got a smile though. No, <laughs> not doing it. <laughs> this hip hop shit. You feel yeah. me? We don't smile around here. Nah. <laughs> What's up, Jack? You know, you worked with Nipsey Hussle. What the late and great Nipsey Hussle? What's something that sticks with you that you know he told you some lessons that he? Um, gave you? I didn't actually get to to meet him personally, but mm-hmm. it was through Who Kid, DJ Who oh. Kid. Yeah. Shout out to Who Kid. We were on a mixtape. We did a mixtape together, and um, it just happens that the track that I was on um, featured. Nipsey and he was he was on the hook, mm. so Crazy. just just that and when I when I, you know I was in Thailand when when we got the news I was like heartbroken because I I love you know his philosophy I love how you know, motivation and, and and just as as he was Straight coming thinking. up yeah you know as an independent artist and, and just making creating his own lane so mm-hmm. so when we lost him I was I was very sad yeah man that was a that was a sad moment but that's something hip-hop. you've done you know as well like you've created your own lane. Yeah, I mean, you know I, I, I could say that. Like, you know, we, I don't know if I would have stayed in America if things would have been different. Yeah. Mm. But, you know, when, when when I found out, when I learned the game in Thailand, I was like, oh, shit, it's just like anything else. If I learn it, then I can maneuver and then I could, you know, plant my own seeds. For and, sure, mm-hmm. for and sure. And then once I learned the game of Bangkok, then it was it. I, I treated Bangkok like it was a, an open canvas, mm-hmm. you know, a blank canvas. Mm-hmm. So it's mm-hmm. like, oh, okay, hip hop here, merch here touring here yes sir. barbershop here mm. label so i was you know that's that's what that was my motivation are the trolls in thailand as vicious as they are here in the states you want to know what i only i can't read thai too well so i don't know oh good <laughs> <laughs> so you don't have to pay attention <laughs> to that, 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 that's a, that well that's a cheat code <laughs> so fuck you yeah, he can't read it anyway you know, they have the, like the little uh middle finger emoji then i'm like yeah hey, motherfucker <laughs> you know, but, but i can't read it but i, I read the english ones yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, whatever, dog. You know what I mean. You reply. Uh, uh, you know, there, there might, they might get a reaction. I mean, then it's like delete, delete. here and there. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> report, 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 report as spam. Do you like to block people? I mean, on my like on my page, you're not gonna come and disrespect me on my page, and I'm gonna sit here and tolerate it. So it's my page. So get the fuck off my page. You're getting <laughs> blocked. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> you're like you you're getting blocked. Up. You're getting, you know you're getting blocked. You're getting, uh, you're getting reported. All that yeah, shit. You're getting blocked. <laughs> Like, I'm not with it. I'm all about positive energy. And I know, That's you what know, it's about. love, people going to love you, people going to hate you. You know, it is what it is. But, yeah, man. You know, just For sure. Stay positive. It comes with the territory, right? Yeah. Yeah, man. How's it, how does your family feel about your career choice? Uh, my wife is super supportive. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, she actually manages me when I'm in Thailand. And, um, yeah, they're very supportive. My kids, they, they know they know what daddy does. And, and um um, they're on the road with me sometimes. Mm-hmm. And, mm-hmm. You know, so. What about uncles and that you know that side of the family? Yeah, I mean, like I only have a an older brother, mm-hmm. and we're not too close. We only like we're close when we see each other. Yeah, we don't have to call each other, but mm-hmm. he's he's proud. You know, when yes, he sees sir. me doing my thing, and like he doesn't say it too much, but you know he, he'll show it through. Uh, my nephew. Oh, yeah. got it. Yeah, yeah. Uncle, I saw you in that thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. That's sweet. That's family. Yeah. At the end of the day. You feel That's me? Right. What's up, Leche? Well, I've never been to Thailand. How long is the flight from LA to Thailand? Uh, and I want there to There used to be a direct <laughs> flight, which was like 15 hours. Now you got to lay over in like a neighboring country, Taiwan, Hong Kong, or like Singapore, yeah. which would probably take a total of like 20 hours, 22 hours with Ooh. like stops and everything. Well, why they stopped the direct flight? You know? I guess a lot of people wasn't doing it. 
Ah, or gas went up. I don't know. Or something. Yeah. Gas fuel is very. <laughs> it's a valid like, question, dog. Gas went up, I'm not yeah, sure. As the world connoisseur that I want to be, I am asking. Let the me questions. tap in with the airline real quick. Why y'all stop? <laughs> right. <laughs> Flight attendant. Tap I'm in. about to sign the boycott. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Are All you right. a Knicks or a Nets fan? I am a Knicks fan. Ooh. Yeah. I'm a Knicks fan. Sorry. That's tough, yeah? yeah. It's a tough uh, position to be in as a fan. Yeah. I heard Knicks fans are delusional sometimes, most of the time. Ooh, Jack. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Jack. We've been delu- I, I, don't, I don't know. But I don't think we're, you know, I'm a Knicks fan at heart, but we haven't, we haven't been doing. Last, last year, we were, you know, in the playoffs. For yeah, like yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah Brunson, Brunson was doing his <laughs> thing. In a while, but, yeah. You know, shout out to the Knicks. So are you like a Laker hater? No. Nah. I'm, you know, I love Kobe. Kobe is like, man. Kobe is, uh, you know, motivation. You know, hundred so, percent. You know, he's so definitely not a Laker hater. Yeah, no, nah, man, that's good because you're in L.A. You feel me? <laughs> you're on a cruise ship. <laughs> that could have been a problem. Nah, you good? We good. We good. <laughs> we good. We good, man. So, yo, man, constantly working, you doing your thing, man. You're yes, still sir. traveling. Are you going back and forth still? Or yeah, um, after this trip, I'll be in New York. For yep. a while, and then I might head to DR to shoot a music video. Hey. Then I'm back in t- um, in Thailand. For That's the rest right. Of the summer. You got a home studio? I uh, have an, a studio close to the home. Ah, I yeah. I keep it in the home because I'll get too lazy. Yeah, <laughs> right. You got to step out, right? Yeah. You got to get ready. Yeah, like I, go I, I want to feel like I'm going to work. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. So. Well, uh, did you ever have to work? Did you have a regular job yeah. growing up? Uh, Where'd you work at? I, I, I used to bus tables. I used to be a waiter. Used to be a bar back. I sold sneakers. Um, I sold candy. Um, yeah, working in a restaurant most of the time in New York. So. Wow. Yeah, man. So you worked with a lot of Hispanics then. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How's your Spanish? Mexicans, Dominicans, Puerto okay. Ricans. How's your Spanish, dog? You know, just uh, you know, to talk shit. And to talk <laughs> right, shit. right, right. <laughs> hey, cabrón. Well, in New play. York, you're talking probably with the Dominicans and the Puerto Ricans. Orale, wey. Orale, wey. Orale, wey. Muevate, wey. Is that, is that how you got your name? The boy, wey? <laughs> el wey, ya llegó el wey. Orale, wey. Ya llegó este wey. Vámonos, wey. So, yeah. Yeah, man. Works with a lot of, a lot of Spanish, yeah. Yeah, man. They're, you know, they're in the kitchen doing their thing, man. And everyone, you know, you learn Spanish, uh, uh, fortunately or unfortunately, it's the bad words, right? Yeah. But you, you do pick it up. Yeah, yeah definitely. They, I can, can a little bit here and there communicate it. And we can understand because it's mixed with English. And some yeah. of them, they even know Thai. Yeah. <laughs> they yeah, even for know sure. Thai. So That's we wild. learn from each other. Yeah, yeah. we do, man. Yeah, <laughs> we do. And chances are, there's probably like a Mexican or Latino working at a Thai at restaurant, you know, cooking up in, you know, here. Oh God, oh, yes. oh, all sure. the time, for sure. <laughs> we we we're relatives. For, Absolutely, for sure. yeah, bro. We're relatives. We're, we're connected. Like, we have bro. similar. We have similar cultures and 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 similarities. So. Yeah, we're man. imported goods. Yeah. You feel me? So and like, if you guys do go to Thailand, you'll see. I'm like ready. It's like South America in some parts. Really? You know? Yeah. So since you know some bad Spanish words, can you teach us bad Thai words? Okay. Um, Good call. A here. Ahia? Ahia. Ahia. Like Ikea, but like Ahia. 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 What does that mean? Ahia. I'm just saying, we know, should know what it means before we say it. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Fuck it. Let's get canceled. Ahia. Ahia. What's, <laughs> what's Ahia? Ahia. So it's like, you, you ever heard of like a monitor lizard? No. It's like a big Komodo dragon. Oh, yeah, sure. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but in, in Thailand, it's, it's not the Komodo dragon, it's the monitor lizard. And they call that Ahia. So, yeah, that's basically what it is. But it's basically like, fuck. Ahia. Like, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought you were calling somebody a lizard. Yeah, it's not kind of like, <laughs> Something like, yeah, yeah. like a fucking like a lizard. lizard. Yeah, I hear. I hear. I hear. Is that like one. when you fuck up, like I hear, or is that like directed to somebody? To somebody. Ah, to somebody. I hear, motherfucker. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Stay away. Yeah. The boy way is here. I Let's go. <laughs> when Ty Raiders dropped, did you know that that was going to be a game changer? Um, nah. We, I mean, when we dropped the first EP, it was called yeah. AA Crew, right? Mm-hmm. And then. We had went back over Christmas, back to Thailand from New York, and we threw a party. And we had 20 burned CDs of that EP, and we're giving out to our friends or the people that that came to the show. Then after the show, kids were like, yo, can we buy it? And they're like, ding, 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 ding. Pressed up 500, pressed up 1,000, mm-hmm. put in a mom and pop shots, pressed out 5,000, pressed wow. out 10,000. Yeah. Then we that knew demand. that, okay. We knew that we had a market, and so we started our first website, aatitanium.com, which wasn't really a website. It was more like a a, a chat mm-hmm. thing, mm-hmm. right? And so then we were able to 
in um, in communication with our fans and they're like direct oh. too yeah direct and yeah. like oh thank you for titanium finally thailand has some hip-hop that you know that we can call our own so then while we're in america because for the first six years of titanium we recorded all our all our albums and and our work in america in new york mm. and every time we had a project or or we would fly back to thailand for like a couple weeks do a show or do promotion and then leave. And that was kind of like what helped with the mystique of Titanium because these motherfuckers are in town, then, they, then they're then they gone. Right. And there was no social media at mm -hmm. that time. And mm -hmm. we were just talking through that chat room. And then- It forced people to keep up with y'all. Yeah. Yeah. So that, that, you know. That's very dope, man. You've done, you've been on the radio in New York and, and in Los Angeles. What's the difference between New York radio and LA radio, according to you? Um, according to New York me, radio is a little more aggressive, right? A little more aggressive, I think. I mean, but the radio, the the experience that I've had, it's all been love. Yeah. It's all been friendly, and it and it hasn't been like you know I've been comfortable. So both the same and very very welcoming. Very welcoming. Thank That's you. Right. Yeah. No, for sure. How about how about in Thailand? How's the how's the radio out there? Or how's media? media? Um, media right? for media for hip hop is is not too is not too not too good. It's like it's media. There's media, and there's sure. like, it's more like the entertainment media. Mm -hmm. it's okay, not like focused on like hip hop and, and journalism of music too much, which I, I feel like Thailand if can build on on more of that, that would be great. Yeah, yeah. do know? they view it as almost like like criminal? No, you know, like right now hip hop in in Thailand is on a mass scale because. Over the past couple of years, um, after COVID or during COVID, mm -hmm. there's been a, a couple of TV shows um, like Show Me the Money or The Rapper, like the, these rap battles and, and competitions on on like uh, network television. Wow! So it's become more more popular and more mass. So like yeah. the, the genre um, that was always number one in Thailand for a long time was was rock, mm -hmm. but now hip hop has surpassed. Isn't that crazy? Uh, so. That's a beautiful thing, man. Yeah. Who's your top five or or your Mount Rushmore of MCs? MCs, okay. Can can I do this? Yes, sir. Can we take Biggie, Jay Z, mm -hmm. Tupac, and Nas out? Got it. Yep, okay. they're in their take own lane. Out. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Little Wayne. Okay. Eminem, Snoop, Kanye, and Kendrick. Solid. That's a solid. Solid. Solid five. Yeah. Mm. Solid, yeah. Ledger's I mean, like contemplating. He's like, no, no, it's a good list. It's a good list. It's a, it's Solid a list, yeah. I mean, you have to take out Big and Pac yeah, and, yeah, and Hove that's and that's Nas, that. and you got to take them out because I think out. that's just a, it's a standard. I mean, they are a standard yeah. in, mm -hmm. in the game. You feel me? And there's so many other names uh, that that are left off that top five, where yeah. you know your top ten or your top twenty. You could do a top hundred, I'm sure. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Everybody's mm -hmm. list is going to be a little different, but I think I think that list, excluding. You know, Jay Z, Biggie, Nas, mm -hmm. Tupac. I think you know, Wayne. He's he, every na this generation of of rappers is yeah. all influenced by Wayne. Mm -hmm. uh, Eminem technically is one of the baddest motherfuckers rapping ever. Bro. Technically, yeah, yeah, yeah. Snoop is probably the most famous rapper in the motherfucking world. Yes, Everybody he is. knows yep. Snoop. No matter what country yeah, you're in, it, it doesn't matter. Everybody mm -hmm. knows Snoop. Um, Kanye, just his influence, sure. his you know his his genius, his uh, you know his his, his artistry, mm -hmm. and then you got to give it to Kendrick. Yeah, Kendrick's up Kendrick. straight LA like that. Yeah. Who is your favorite female MC? Do you have one? Hmm. Female MC. And is she out now? Um, it's a hard. That could be tough. Could be tough. So you have Ice Spice doing her thing, uh -huh. right? You have Cardi B. You have Nikki, mm -hmm. and there's so many others. Missy Elliott. Missy. Missy. Legendary. Like Missy Elliott. Yeah, visionary. Visionary. Crazy. It is just crazy. Like she, you know, her. Um, I think if if anybody could do a versus with Missy, I think it would be Busta. Yeah. Busta and Missy wow. should do a versus. Yeah, that'd be crazy. You know, just because of their visuals Italy, alone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, that and, would be crazy. Yeah. And their energy on stage, like, unmatched. We'll never see. Yeah. I don't think we'll ever see energy yeah. like that again. You know, not in this lifetime, man. Yeah. The boy Way is on all digital Wait. streaming platforms. Yeah. Let's get it. We appreciate the time. Thank you Appreciate so much. the energy. You got a home here, man. Slide through any time, man. Thank Seriously, so man. Appreciate all day. Guys. Yes, sir. It's love. What kind of watch is that? <laughs> yeah, I see it. It's a stupid <laughs> question. I knew it. I just wanted him to say it. You feel me? Yo, you got to zoom in on the, uh, on the uh, Tiffany forces, too. Those oh, are crazy. Are they real? 
They real? That's what's up. My God. <laughs> There's some good counterfeits out there, man. Crew Show, Real 92.3. Let's go. The boy yes, way. Yo, check out more of our YouTube interviews now. ASAP Plus. Download the free iHeartRadio app so you can check out the Crew Show podcast.